I'm gonna try to be a little bit more consistent probably starting next year because the next few months I'm, I'm literally traveling every month multiple trips so I don't know if I'll have time to be doing girls um, but I definitely want to be more consistent with this but I am so enraged and disturbed by this news that I heard you've already seen the title but this needs to be discussed like when it comes to black women the medical system, maternity, infanticide. It is overwhelmingly black women who suffer at the hands of physicians, okay? And when we look at the history of the medical field, the sciences, how black bodies were used against their will for scientific research. I, If you didn't know, the forcep that, that they used for pap smears was done on black bodies, black women's bodies in the sake of science. If you don't know the history about Sarah Bartman, AKA Venus Hottentot, the black South African woman that was paraded around Europe and touched on her and the French, the French in this goddamn country that I live in right now, the French, they used her body for the sake of science, they bought her body after she was um, she died. For the sake of science, studied her, taxidermied her body, and put her in a museum. And up until, up until 2000 something, they took her out of the museum. And then finally, her body was sent back to South Africa. The way black women's bodies are brutalized, the way we are not cared about, it is, it's, it enrages me that that's really the only word that I can think of right now. And when I read this story, I am enraged. I am pissed. And this family, this woman needs to sue that hospital for everything they got. I don't care if five billion dollars, a hundred billion dollars, every single penny that they have, take everything from them because this is inconceivable. I cannot imagine this. So I'm going to read the story to you. I'm going to include the link um, of the article below. It's titled, Georgia Woman Sues Hospital After Baby Allegedly, Allegedly Decapitated During Delivery. So the lawsuit has been filed against the Atlanta Air Hospital after a baby was allegedly decapitated as a mother was giving birth last month. Jessica Ross, 20, went to the emergency room at Southern Regional Medical Center in Riverdale, Georgia, on July 9th after her water broke at 9 or at 10 a.m., Fox Atlanta reported at 8.40 p.m. she was fully dilated and began pushing. Okay, firstly, we have a young black woman going to deliver a child, okay, at this hospital, South Southern Regional Medical Center in Riverdale, Georgia, okay? She goes to deliver her child, spends several hours, let's say nearly 10 plus hours, in labor, 12 hours, let's say maybe, in labor. Preparing to deliver her child. She's gone through nine months of pregnancy. Is going through labor. Is actually having to deliver her child. The um, article continues. The baby stopped descending because of shoulder dystocia while being delivered vaginally, meaning the baby's shoulders could not fit through the pelvic area, the lawsuit said. I sent this article to my friend um, who's a nurse, okay? And, you know, she knows the, the terms and all that stuff. So she was like, first of all, if this child was too big to be delivered this way, first of all, they should have a record, even if it's a, a, an emergency room, they should have read, read her record, Okay, where it says, okay, this is the weight of the baby. Um, this is what the mother, the you know, the mother's body is like. Whatever. Based on this, there might be cases where even if you want to deliver virginally, you vaginally, you cannot, and we will have to do a C-section. So if you are aware of her history already, okay, then you as a doctor would have made the decision, even if the, she was persistent and like, okay, I want to have this. There are some cases, unfortunately, you can't have it the way you want to, unfortunately, right? If you see this, why would you try to maneuver 
I'm going to read further into the story, but why would you try to maneuver in this kind of way rather than taking the precautionary steps? But again, when it comes to black bodies, y'all don't really give a fuck. Okay? Y'all will be extra harsh. Like, and one of the things that painting the situation, I feel like, again, she is young and maybe she's not somebody that advocates for herself. And you're in a situation where you are vulnerable. You're in the, in the most vulnerable state of your life. You're giving birth. You're wide open. Everybody's in the room doing their thing. And likely maybe her partner wasn't even in the room with her or family members weren't even in the room when they were handling the situation, right? You're putting your trust, your, your faith in the hands of people you don't know. And look at how they do this. Look at how they mishandled her. Oh, la la. There are so many cases of black women being mis mistreated in the medical field of them dying. Me personally, right? I... At first, I'm afraid of being pregnant. I don't even want to, I don't want to ever be pregnant. I also, but then I have issues with like surrogacy if I can actually carry, you know? I don't even know if I want to have kids. Like, I don't know, okay? But like, I'm actually afraid of being, and this is even before I even knew um, about infant mortality rate, maternity rate, um, how black women are handled in the medical field, all that stuff, right? I don't even want to, because I'm just like, being pregnant just, it looks horrible. It looks Horrible. I don't think it's beautiful. It doesn't look like anything wonderful to me, right? So hearing stories like this even scares me even further, right? So as a doctor, I would assume you have experience. You can see things to do or not do. And I'm sorry, this shit is evil. Let's say, unfortunately, you made a mistake, but the, the rate that they went to cover this shit up, nah. Let me continue reading. Dr. Tracy, that's the name of the doctor, Dr. Sh Tracy St. Julian, reportedly attempted to deliver the baby vaginally using different methods, including applying traction to the baby's head. I Googled what this meant. They applied some kind of, imagine like a, like a, a suction cup. There's, a, there's that. And I think there was another one as well. But the one that I that kept coming up mostly on Google was kind of like, you know, the little plunger. Imagine it's like a plunger, okay, to force the baby out. And apparently my friend who's the nurse was saying that sometimes the, the doctor will ask you that because baby's bones are supple, they'll like dislocate or let's say dislocate instead of saying break the baby's bone to like push it to be able to like be for it to be able to come out. So they do that. That's actually something that is performed and it doesn't have to, but it does happen sometimes. Well, let's continue. It says, I quote, in the process of trying to deliver this baby, pulled on the head and neck so hard and manipulated them so hard that the bones in the baby's skull, face, and neck were broken. Roderick Edmund, one of Ross's attorneys, said during the news conference. You pull so hard... You, hey, oh, oh, I, don't, I feel like I'm about to cry. I, ooh. I don't know. I honestly, I, this makes me so angry because I, I'm not even this person. I'm not the person that is birthing this child, but, oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting emotional right now. Mm. Okay, so I had to take a break, um, come back. Um, you know how when you are carrying a baby, they're like, be careful, the head is fragile, whatever, right? As a doctor, you the force that you pulled with was so strong that you fucking decapitated the baby. You broke its neck, head, and skull. Trying to force a baby out. And you knew better. Nah, this... Ooh, nah, hey. Th this is too much. This is too much. That hospital, those nurses, that doctor need to lose their license and be sued for everything that they're worth. They need to be jailed. I'm sorry, no. And let me let me continue because it's some evil shit. She was fully dilated at 8.40 p.m., okay? She's gone through labor. So let's say this has been about two hours of labor, okay? 
I'm almost near three hours of labor. So at around 11.50 p.m., St. Julian decided to perform a stat cesarean, which is like an emergency cesarean, okay? The baby's bodies and legs were delivered at 12.11 a.m. So not only have you killed the capitate of this baby, you have to cut this woman open by cesarean. And I have seen what that looks like. I don't know if you ever Googled it because I, I was curious. I was like, hell no, I never want to have a cesarean because they literally they take your entrails out. Push things aside. Hey, hell no. You cut her open to deliver the baby's legs and body. And the baby's head was delivered vaginally. And they probably lied to her and said, oh, no, this is a placenta that you're delivering. OK. And again, I feel like at this point, I, I think this lady was alone with these people in this room and she didn't have somebody in there that could actually watch and see what is going on. Because if that was the case, somebody like her partner, whoever would have seen that, no, nah, this is just the body. And they probably wrapped it up real quick. The, he had to not been in the room. Her family member, whoever, had not to have been in the room. They probably pushed him out because I would be dead. I'm like, oh, hell no. We are staying here. We're not leaving. I want to be a part of this. Because you see that when their cesarean is performed, the partner, whoever, is there by their side. They probably forced his ass out and because they're fucking young. Unfortunately, maybe weren't advocating for themselves in the way that they could have. And this is not putting any blame on them, right? I'm just saying they probably weren't advocating and they were just following authority. You know what I mean? And this happened. But let me continue. The lawsuit allegedly alleges that a St. Julian failed to tell Ross and the family about the decapitation. This is where the evilness comes in for me now. Let's say you made a mistake by decapitating the baby, even though there's alternatives to delivering the fucking baby because you performed it. Finally, you gave her a fucking cesarean, which you could have done. But now you try to cover it up. Lies to the fucking family. She doesn't get to see her fucking child. Because generally speaking, even if there's a stillbirth, that you can still give the, the child to the mother and they can hold it. Let me continue. It also alleges the hospital discouraged Ross and the baby's father, Trayvon Taylor, from seeking an autopsy, instead telling them to have their son cremated in lieu of taking him to a funeral home. This is evil. This is fucking evil. So now this is negligence. Now this is murder. And now you're trying to cover up the murder. That's what this is. And this is the doctor and the nurses involved. All of them should, I don't know what the term is. I know in for law, it's disbarred. I don't know what it is for um, the medical field. Their license need to be revoked immediately, expeditiously. Because this right here, this is beyond negligence. I, this is evil. This is evil. There is no fucking word to describe it. This is fucking evil. Continues, a report of the alleged decapitation was never made to the authorities. They just lied on the birth and death certificate. Oh, complications at birth. That's it. But they didn't put the full details. So imagine this is not the first something similar. Something has happened where they have killed someone's child or killed somebody and then lied to make it so they they don't get uh, in trouble. So. Corey Lynch, an attorney of the um, the of Ross, said during a, um, the news conference at the lawsuit, the death has the death has been flagged by the the death was flagged by the funeral home. He said they said they did everything in their power to not let the family know what happened. Lynch said. In addition, Saint Julian, who was also named in the lawsuit, grossly negligently applied excessive traction on Trayvon Isaiah Taylor Jr.'s head. And, neg and grossly neg negligently failed to do a cesarean section in a timely and proper manner, resulting in Trayvon Isaiah Taylor's Jr.'s decapitation and death in the, the lawsuit said. 
The hospital told Fox News Digital said it was unable to discuss the care and treatment of patients during citing patient privacy laws. Our, health, our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with the family and those impacted by this tragic event. Our prayers also remain with a dedicated team of physicians and nurses and staff in Southern Regional Medical Center who care for this patient. Taco said in a, in a statement, fuck y'all. Sue them for everything they're worth. Every fucking penny. Everything. And you know the the uh, Supreme Court, take the Supreme Court. Since y'all are so for anti-abortion, right? You care about children being born, take it to the fucking Supreme Court since y'all are pro-life, right? No, y'all don't care about when, especially for black bodies, you don't care when those bodies come and they're here, okay? You just want to control women's bodies. Go to take this shit to the fucking Supreme Court and see what they can do. Since y'all are so pro-life, you care about babies, right? Make sure that this hospital, these physicians, these nurses, everybody that was that was in um, cahoots with this situation, go to jail for life. I don't care because this is no, nah, this is beyond negligent. This is not negligent. This is fucking evil. Moving on, while our sympathies go out to the family, South Regional Medical Center denies the allegations of the complaint of the Clem Clayton. Wouldn't it be Platon, but it says complaint referencing the hospital. Since the matter is in litigation, we cannot provide additional statements. As far as Dr. St. Julian, she is not an employee of the hospital. So you guys terminated her. You didn't, because you don't want, I, I read, let's read between the lines. She's not an employee, as in you terminated her. She doesn't work there anymore because you don't have connections to this. But your nurses are still there. Did you fire them as well? The hospital has taken the appropriate steps in response to this unfortunate situation. The complaint and seeking the complainant is seeking unspecified damages for the value of life for the baby's life, including loss of earnings and loss of enjoyment of life. Girl, take every fucking thing that you can from this story. I'm gonna link this story, this article below. I am disgusted. But again, this goes time and time again to show that black women, especially, our bodies don't matter. Black bodies don't matter. Y'all can kill us, y'all can abuse us, do whatever you want, and hey, nobody's gonna fight for them. If this had been a white person, do you think we would be hearing this? And even if the doctor had killed this baby and lied about it, this would be a nationwide fucking news, okay? But when it's black bodies, it doesn't really matter. But I am making this video because I, even though I'm a smaller channel, I want y'all to please support this family in any way that you can. Let the news be spread about Southern Regional Medical Center in Riverdale, Georgia, about Dr. Tracy St. Julian, okay? We will put every negativity will go towards this, these individuals and this hospital and also the nurses and everybody else, the coroners, everybody that try to cover this baby um, being killed in this way. I have to just share my thoughts. Um, I am honestly enraged by this story. I, I can't fathom somebody going through this. And I just hope that every black parent, or excuse me, every black woman specifically, and black people in general, when you're in a hospital, when you're not getting the type of answers that you want, when things don't feel right and you know your body, be an advocate. Do not accept whatever. Continue pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing because they will just like disregard your stuff. You need to advocate for yourself. And I'm and, and me saying this, please, please believe this is not anything against um, this woman, anything against her. But I do feel like they pushed whoever was there to be by her side out of that room so they could do what they did because there's no way they couldn't have seen that, oh, this is just the, the half the body with, without a head. You get what I'm trying to say? They're, nah, this is some evil shit. This is some evil fucking shit, seriously. Anyways, um, these are my thoughts with regards to this situation. <sighs> Please advocate. Please don't take no for an answer and fight and let justice be done for this situation. Sue them for everything they're worth. And this doctor should not allow to have a practice ever again. Not in the US, not anywhere else. I'm sorry, no. For the, and for the fact that you try to cover it up, especially for that fact, 
you, this bar, I know that's not the word, take the license away. And this name, Dr. Tracy Julian St. Dr. Fuck Dr. Tracy St. Julian. I hope they put a picture out for you, okay? If I can find it, I will put the picture in the video. You should not get a job in the medical field ever again. And the nurses that were in cahoots, the coroner, everybody that tried to hush this up, all of y'all should lose your license, should, ne should be jailed for this shit. I'm sorry. This is unacceptable. Anyways, these are my thoughts with regards to this situation. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And your girl will be back soon for a new video. Peace out, bisous, and hugs. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold up.